What is up? This is Atomic Swift back with another video. This time a really quick video. That's my uh, sexy Raspberry Pi with Retro Pi and all my emulators that you've seen in my previous video. Um, if you haven't checked in a while, there is a well, there was a newer version, a newer update of Retro Pi that uh, dropped. I think it was in July of this year. I hadn't checked in a while. 4.5.1 my previous running version was 4.4 and uh, so if you haven't checked in a while or you do not know how to update your retro pie I will show you real quick well just what you need to do it's really simple I did it last night while I was uh, recording gameplay videos and I do have to let you know that if you do this it takes a long, long time. Very long time. Um, well, mine stopped... Um, mine stopped in between to ask for a password for GitHub. But even then, it had been running for hours. <clears throat> so, I, I want to say I started it last night at... Mm, 7 o'clock? seven o'clock and it was still going when I went to bed at one I want to say and then you know it like I said it stops somewhere somewhere in between that amount of time and asked for a github password and a username which I didn't know what that was so I just hit hit a both times but anyway if you do not know how to update your retro pie it's real easy if you were running um, 4.4 which I was I just took that, went down to update, hit A, and then I think it gives you the option to update all packages or something like that. That's what I did, and Jesus Christ, it fucking took forever. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, like I said, it took a very long time. So, what we're going to do is, I'm actually going to reboot my, my Pi because, let's see here. Now we're just going to restart the whole system. Make sure the update was good, which I'm sure it was, because now it says that I am running 4.5.1, which my previous version, like I said, was 4.4 of RetroPi. You just let it run. It shows a shitload of text like that on this screen for hours and hours and hours. Um, and, uh, you know, I, it updates every package on there. So it updates emulators. It updates, you know, the, the kernel, everything. And, uh, like I said, it takes a very long time. So if, if you are going to update it, just uh, walk away from it. <laughs> Don't sit there and wait. You'll be waiting for hours. Like I said, I was sitting here playing uh, Revolution X and... Shit took forever. Okay, so we're just gonna try. Let's just try Super Nintendo real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh. Ooh, zombies ain't my neighbors. That's a great game. I can't. Wow, that's crazy. I came. I didn't know it was made by Lucas Arts. Konami. All right. Fifty. Wow. Oh, that's a great game right there. Okay. But in honor of the. Um, the arcade one-up units we're gonna try Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah turtles in time by the way if you don't have a Raspberry Pi with Retro Pi I would definitely recommend getting one if you love retro gaming these um, these Raspberry Pis play uh, Super Nintendo. Well, what did I figure out? These uh, these Raspberry Pis play PS1 and below flawlessly. Said I wouldn't go up above PS1. It runs some. It <coughs> it runs some 
in 64 games decently, but I, I like I said, I would wait for the, uh, if, if you want to play Super Nintendo, or uh, N64, I would wait for the new Raspberry Pi and all the retro Pi updates to see what, if they're going to improve performance, because I wouldn't buy one of these right now to play N64, I can tell you that right now. I play N64 on my PC emulators, and uh, doesn't run too good. PS1 and below, flawless. 32x, no problem. I think I ever played Turtles in time. Huh. So we're just going to back out. So that's how... Um, I said this is just a quick video to let you know that there was a new version of the god damn it I just hit A didn't I I'm sure it did fucker this was just a quick video to let everybody know that if you weren't paying attention there was a new version of the uh, retro pie that was released like I said around July I think of this year 2019 so yeah it's like I said, it's really easy to update. You just go from your emulation station screen, go to RetroPie, <coughs> hit A. <coughs> oh boy. Uh. All right, and then you go to RetroPie Setup, hit A again. Give it a second. Yeah, see. Oh, well, that's right, because it's a new kernel. So you can't use Ubuntu on this anymore, because the, the newer kernel, I guess. Or no, I think they reverted to the older kernel uh, for stability. I think I was reading something like that. But anyway. Anyway, that's my retro my Raspberry Pi with Retro Pi installed. It's really awesome. That's uh, you know, a quick how to update. You know, you hit Retro Pi setup, go to next screen, go to update if you had 4.4, it's really easy. Um, if you had older than 4.4, you have to go to manually. It'll say the option won't just be updated. It'll say update all installed packages. Do that one. And then walk away because, like I said, it takes a very long time. But uh, hopefully it'll be worth it. Hopefully I'll see some sort of an improvement. I mean, the main games I play on this Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, were running flawless anyway. So, But anyway, that's my video. I said just a quick video. And uh, thanks for all likes, subs, comments. And as always, bye for now.